everybody, I'm Sherry and welcome back to my channel Sherry Jones Designs. In today's video, we are going to make something really cute out of this green velour jacket. I decided that what I would use with this is a shirt and uh, some jean scraps is what you'll need. So we're going to begin by removing the sleeves and I cut to the inside of the seam as you notice here and I've removed uh, both sleeves. So, because what I'm going to make here is a little um, hoodie jumper dress and it turned out so cute. It's so comfortable. So next we're going to cut this off and I want to cut about one inch below where the sleeve ends there. So that way I have enough room to attach a border because I'm going to attach a border next. Now you don't want to use your roll cutter, you know, you, like for your, oh, what is it called? I forgot what it's called, but you know. You want to use a pair of scissors because you don't want to ruin um, your cutter. And when you get to that zipper, take your time. If it's uh, if it is a metal zipper, you could ruin your scissors. So make sure you cut between the teeth of the zipper. So once I get the, and and oh another thing I need to say here, do not unzip your hoodie because you may not be able to get started again. So now snip the ends here and make sure you snip off your little seam pieces, which I did not do in the video, but that will help you attach your fabric later. So now I'm going to go ahead and hem where I cut the sleeves off. And for this, I went ahead and clipped them, but at the machine, I really, I did one this way and I did the other one without clipping it. Now, if you've got a shirt that frays, you're gonna to wanna to zigzag or serge your edge first and so that it, it doesn't ravel a lot. And then I just used a straight stitch here and I stitched about a quarter inch under. Um, I stitched it down to make some nice sleeves uh, edges. But you know, here, if you like the serged look, you know, I, for myself, I could have just serged it and left it with a serged edge. So once you've hemmed both sides, you should end up with something that looks similar to this. And you can use, you know, think about, you can use all kinds of different tops for this. You could use lighter weight for summers. You could leave the sleeves on. There's all kinds of ways you can alter this. So now I'm cutting little denim strips about two and a half inches wide. And I'm just going to attach this to the bottom of, kind of like a little border between that and the shirt I'll be using. Now I want to see different shades and colors of this strip all the way around. So I'm cutting my strips into little pieces that I will attach together to create a really cute border that will fray. And I just think it looks great when you have a little bit of light and dark of the same shade all the way around. So we're going to just lay out our little hoodie here. And I'm going to do a generous seam allowance of about a half an inch to make sure that I don't miss this anywhere. And I'm gonna also extend it a couple of inches so that when I sew it together, I have plenty to, to sew the top together before I attach the bottom skirt. And another thing I suggest doing, and a lot of this is to use a straight stitch. Here I'm just zigzagging straight on, but frequently I will do a straight stitch first, make sure I like how it lays, and then go over it with my zigzag. That way it's extra strong, but this straight stitch is a lot easier to remove uh, than if you've made a mistake than your zigzag. And here you can see I decided this piece, I like it better upside down. So I actually attached it upside down. Now, when you get to your zipper, be very careful. I hand turn the machine over when I get there because I don't want to break a needle, especially if you've got a metal zipper, you can sew right over them, but only I would hand turn and, go and make sure you go in between those teeth. And then just do both sides the same way. I zigzagged it all the way to the end, attaching different color pieces. And I wanted to show you this here. When I did the back side, I had one denim strip that was a little shorter than the others. Now I could have trimmed them all to that short length, but what I decided to do was go ahead and grab some of my other denim straps and do like I do my patchwork, just lay it back further and come back over. And it just added a really cute element to it, to the garment. And this is why it's fun to upcycle because there aren't really any, any you know, serious rules. You can kind of make things up as you go. It's not as stringent as sewing with patterns where every little, you know, dart has to match and you've got all these dots and you've got, you know, all this stuff going on. 
So now this is what we have. You know, I've got some, I got my border sewed in place. I've got, um, I've got to attach a skirt now. So this is a shirt I'm using. And so I'm going to cut off the lower portion of the shirt. And this was easy to cut off and follow across because there is a great big stripe. <laughs> my kind of, that's one reason I like looking with, working with even plaids because you have something to follow. And yeah, I, I'm a lazy sewist. So now I'm going, this is the bottom portion of my hoodie dress, my little sleeveless jumper. And so what I'm going to do is because this shirt is kind of open weave, I want to make sure that I have, uh, I'm going to serge that. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and trim my jumper piece uh, up here about a half inch or you know up three quarters of an inch or so I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to sew it together to create the 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 um, oh kind of like a continuous shirt like a, as if I had cut a shirt off by doing it this way you don't have a seam to the inside that's uncomfortable you I love flat seamed garments because of this they they don't rub on you they're very comfortable and so I pin it on each side and I'm just going to be sewing these together to create the top that I will be attaching the lower shirt portion to. And, um, and this is when you would also make sure it fits you, like measure it and make sure it's big enough to fit you because you could add extra here. You could have made this extra wide for your shirt piece. And now I've come back with my shirt piece after I sewed the jumper piece together and I'm going to serge that for you if you don't have a serger you would use a, a zigzag or some stitch like that to make sure that that's extra strong and now here I'm just going to pin it in place where I want it I want the buttons to go down down the front you know this garment can be you can do many things you could have put the buttons down the side you know that would have been or down your back side you know to give it a little uh, you know flare on the back side this is what's fun about upcycling is really there are no rules you just kind of make it up as you go it's so fun and it's relaxing to do compared to sewing with patterns and now I'm pinning my side seams to where my sides are here and you know I'm just going to get this ready and we're going to go when I go to the machine I've got a little extra in between so I want to make sure that I gather it appropriately and I, I could tell where the back was by the way it was pressed so I pinned it uh, in place there and now we're just going to sew it on and here I'm doing what I normally do is a straight stitch first and I'm making sure my fabric is not bunched under me and I'm doing the straight stitch first sewing it down and then on when I come back around I, if I like the way it looks with the straight stitch then I do a zigzag to lock it in place extra strong. I am so tough on my clothes that if I don't do extra it just does not survive the laundry I I'm just you know <laughs> I live live in my clothes and they go through a lot and I go through a lot of things which is really a good reason to upcycle it is so budget friendly and I encourage everybody to give this a go this is not something you have to have super good sewing skills to do so now I've got my little denim straps all sewed on. I've chopped off my shirt and put it on. Now I'm going to make sure it's buttoned and laying flat because now we get to do the fun part. We get to decorate. And uh, I'm laying it out flat so when I go to pin things on that they will, you know, they will be where I want them. And so I've got the bottom portion of this jacket now and I've, I decided I love the pretty pockets. I'm going to remove those pockets and here's how I'm doing it. I want to show you that when you have a zipper, the way, best way to remove it, it'd be very careful cutting your zipper, if, especially if it's metal, cut between the little teeth of the zipper. And I'm cutting up alongside the zipper. I didn't seam rip the zipper out or anything. I just cut alongside it and I did that on both sides and just cut, you know, the thing is if you sit there and seam rip for hours. I'm just not patient enough to do that, okay? I just cut it out and I sew it on. Why stress about over the little things, you know? Um, we're just gonna cut that zipper piece out of the middle and I'm gonna trim out my pockets. And like I like, cut that bottom border off. And then you sh I ended up with a couple of really cute little pieces here. 
and I'm going to pin them in place and I'm going to also pin on all the little decorations I want at this stage and we're almost done this is the fun part it's like icing on the cake and the, the 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 point in time where it turns into a cute little piece of clothing and after I put these on I kind of wished I'd put them just an inch or so lower so make sure when you pin your pockets and stuff on you put it on a hanger and you step back and look at it here it is all pinned up and ready to sew on I've got some patches on the back everything's ready to get stitched up and I'm like I'm liking how it looks and this is a fun part you know I could have added a more patches to the bottom um, you know you can have whatever you would want to do I thought about a denim border along the bottom all right here it is here's what we made How cute is that? It could be worn as a sleeveless dress. It's long enough. It, it, it definitely could be worn as a dress. Uh, I prefer, the sleeves were a little bit low for me so because this was a jacket, so I prefer having an undershirt under it. I might wear a tank top under it. I absolutely love this. I hope you guys make one for yourself. It's very easy. You will just need some kind of uh, a top shirt that you like, you could use this anything. And think you could change this for all seasons. You could use a summer top, like a tank top. You could use a jacket um, and leave the sleeves on or swap sleeves out. I thought about doing that. I did. I, I did think about that. I was like, you know, it's spring. I think I'd rather have a sleeveless hoodie jumper. So on the back, it's got, got our little decoration. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching, guys, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you want a little bit more, I did start a Patreon. That's just a place the, to hang out because it has a Discord. I want to have kind of a gateway to keep people from, you know, no spam and stuff like that on my Discord. But over on Discord, you can share photos. We have um, a few people over there right now. We have competitions. So if that's something you're interested in, the link is in the description below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time... Happy sewing.